Okay, today we have Farah on Volskaya Industries, all the way through, both sides, pretty short game. SR is like 2,700-ish, a little bit over that, I think, somewhere around there, though. Alright, let's look at the team. It's not a great team. We've got 222, two, two, even though, you know, one of the DPS is Symmetra by that counting, which, you know, is, is sort of true, sort of isn't true. It's not a great team, because if the enemy team has a Farah, life's going to be pretty difficult, because then it's all up to Anna to kill them. But, you know, it's Volskaya Industries, so, you know, Symmetra sets up in the point, got tanky people standing there, Farah shooting into the area. It's fine, and, like, realistically, who cares about the team composition, because... Most people can't even play their heroes correctly anyway, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bear, it doesn't bear too much worrying about, so let's skip ahead to when the game's starting. Symmetra set up all her turrets. Peeking out, decide not to peek out. Now, this position is a little suboptimal, because the thing about Farah is that Farah has access to a whole other plane that nobody else does, right? So, we need to think more three-dimensionally when we're trying to position as Farah, right? We're standing here, so we're high up, you know, we're looking down, shooting into people, that's fine, but, right, with the changes to Farah's rockets, you can actually stay in the air forever if you just, like, feather the throttle. So we can think much more outside the box now. This archway here, we can actually just hover up, like, close to the roof, and then, like, peek over it, and then shoot a couple times, peek back down, peek over again, shoot, then duck back down again. And we can act, so we can use things other people wouldn't be able to use as cover, and then just attack from another angle. Because if we're up there now, we could be shooting over this Reinhardt shield, and generally making people's life difficult. But right now we're shooting into Reinhardt Shield instead. I guess you don't know how like the app works. playing around right side. Okay, we Alright, coming back to get Diva, that's fine. Focusing the Reaper, that's good, because he you counter him. Not the great Don't don't bother with that. Don't bother with that. As I was saying, you know, you should try to shoot Reaper first, which is good because he's more of your problem than Diva is. So back up a little bit. Should've, should've tried to bump him away from the doorway at the start of this, because once he sees you, he's gonna be like, fuck, I don't want any part of that, I'm out. So, right when you see him, you should just try to bump him that way, so that he has basically no cover to get behind, and you pretty much force him to use Wraith form at that point, because otherwise you're just gonna shoot down at him and make him sad. So... So, now, you heard him say he's got the point, but you could see from looking at him, he didn't have the point. So, if someone, like, if someone's calling something like that, right? Yeah, okay, you listen to him saying he got it, but he didn't got it. You gotta, especially not since Reaper's gonna come back around, because he was still full HP. So rather than turning back towards the point, you should have just kept, like, back towards the choke, rather. You should have kept just shelling down. Don't like this, way too close to the ground, that's better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Getting a little close to the ground. No, 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 no. Uh, you get, you're getting way too close to the ground for this, right? You're... I think... I wasn't looking at your fuel too carefully, but it looks like you were just kind of holding it down because you just sort of ran out of fuel suddenly and started dropping. We can stay in the air pretty much indefinitely. Like, this is already too close at that point. We want to be up as far as possible. We don't really want to be up just, like, in open air, if at all possible, because that's, like, I know the situation's kind of awkward right now, but we don't really want to be just out in open air like this. We want to be near something in the air that we can still use as cover, but this is a bit of a weird circumstance you're in. Yeah, like, you're just out of fuel and you end up having to land and jump back up. You don't ever really have to get very close to the ground as far anymore, because their jets are very powerful now. So you need to sort of just 
manage your fuel a little bit more and just try to stay very high up. And you can use, like, uh, some rooftops as well to kind of, like... You can't, like, stand on many rooftops, but you can sort of slide on them, and that just gives you a little bit longer to get some fuel back and just stay up in the air that bit longer. Like, this roof here, for example. You can't stand on it, but you can just sort of jet along the side of it and, you know, keep roughly even. And then you can also, like, duck back behind that for cover as well. Okay, he's dead. That's all. That's all over. Just shooting in. Diva's coming to make life hard. Don't use your concussive blast like that. Concussive blast, because you shoot it right at Diva as well. So first off, like concussive blast doesn't do much if it hits the person. You have to hit it on terrain near the person. I believe Diva's. Uh, it doesn't even like cancel out Diva's jet. I'm not a hundred percent on that one though. So you need to try and save that. Like, you can either, you, you can use it to either bump people away or use it to move yourself around, but don't just shoot it at people because that's not helpful. We didn't need to land, we could just be up right now. We've got a fuel, full tank of fuel right there. Because, like, a little bit, a little bit further back, a little bit further back. So we land, we jump up, right? Land again, you got a fuel, full tank of fuel right now, don't need to be on the ground. We do not want to be on the ground right now, because Diva's just going to be like, Oh damn, Far is just like, in my area now, this is easy. So, try to, try to play more in the air. Don't just float around in open air. Try to stay like, near cover still, but try to avoid landing as much as possible. We're trying to use the fact we can be in the sky and have, like, an easier time shooting down. Because that's what Farah has that, like, nobody else has. She can be in the air. Alright, we're in open air, but, like, we can't really get a good... So they can't really get a good look in anyway. Don't shoot... Don't, don't, don't shoot at this guy. Don't shoot at this guy. So, big thing about DPS, like, this is... is, is like, target prioritization, right? We can't really do anything to this guy over here, because he's all big and bulky, she's all big and bulky, Tracer's getting a look in at us, which is really awkward, but like, let's just go back a little bit, and you're gonna try and shoot at Tracer as well, which is also not really gonna work out. So, right now, right? You're shooting over here. Look what's happened over here. Lucio's having a really sad time. We need... If we go over there and just help with that, Lucio is dead. Like, he's a done, he's a done deal. But we're shooting over here at the amped Reinhardt, who we're gonna do no damage to. And we're now we're shooting at D.Va, but now we could be shooting over here at the Soldier. He's having a sad time anyway, because he's getting microwaved right now. But target priority is pretty much like support DPS tanks. This is, this varies heavily from time to time. Well, for Farah, it's more... Whoever is most threatening to me, which is like Anna and Soldier, and then it sort of goes down the list like that. But like, Amped Reinhardt, D.Va with her defense matrix up, and Anna like, hugging D.Va's arse. Not, not top on our list of priorities right now, you should be looking over here. Like, Lucio died anyway, because he got microwaved. So, just that there. Now, the other two people have died, because they, they just... Symmetra just got to microwave them, so they're very sad. We're not gonna hit Tracer. We should be looking over at the tanks now, trying to find Anna, ideally. Anna's dead, so it doesn't matter. And the team, the enemy team just, like, falls apart anyway, so it ends up not even mattering. So now, we could be more far forward here, because we could just be, we could be up here, peeking over this roof, trying to shoot down at people, because, like, people will be recollecting out here right now. We could just be shooting out at them. We don't want to go too far out. We want to basically rest on the inward slope, because then if someone starts looking at us, we can just duck straight back down again, and then we can peek back over. We can, like, then we can, like, duck down, move along the wall, and then peek back over, shoot from there, duck down. We can just keep poking out from all these various angles. There's, uh, this one far player called uh, Valkyr, who plays Farah in a way very similar that you would tell someone to play Genji, 
where he just like pokes really aggressively, where he does pretty much exactly that. He rests up in places like this, and then just like shoots a couple rockets, ducks down, then he'd like come over here maybe, shoot a couple rockets out there, then he'd come back over here and shoot a couple rockets out. And he just pokes really aggressively like that, always varying his area of it, like the area he approaches from, so they aren't expecting it. And he just builds up his ult really fast, and then he just kills like three people with his ult. He plays it far in a way very similar to Genji, and it's very interesting, it's very effective. He's like the top rated Farah player in the world. He's like Far as his wife, who he plays Farah all the time. It's very very interesting. So we could we're not doing anything right now. We're not doing anything. We could be over there looking in, trying to shoot people. Getting some poke in. We've got our ult, so we're not worrying about that, but we could be doing something more than standing around. No, 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 this is mad far away. Far's ult is not very good from this far away, right? So here's what I would have liked to have seen instead, right? So first off, I would prefer we aren't even standing on this rooftop. Like I said, I prefer we're over by the archway. But like, supposing we're over at the archway right now. Supposing we're up like here-ish when this starts, right? This comes in, they do that, right? They're gonna come in right now because the sound barrier just popped, right? Then you would go over the back, right? Drop down behind them, and because you're just dropping down, it doesn't make any sound. Like, they probably, they might not even know you're doing this. And then, when you're right behind them, you just alt, and then you just spray it into their back, and like, maybe Reinhardt spins, like, you wanna be high enough off, high enough up off the ground, that if, like, Reinhardt turns around and puts his shield up, you don't die, obviously, but you could get really close in behind them and just start ulting into their back, and then, like, they turn around because you're doing that, but then your team's gonna start going into them, and then they're like, oh, fuck, wh where do we go, which way do we, d we got it coming in from both sides right now, and basically this whole push would be, like, halted right there, pretty much, at least ideally. And then, like, Reinhardt even does that, so it'd be super free. But we're, like, so far away right now, and we can't even really see him. We get Soldier over here, but he was dead anyway, really. All this shit was in the way. We couldn't see anybody. We had to look at Soldier for mad long for our rockets to actually do anything, because they're so spread out from how far away we are. So, you gotta you gotta be much closer and more aggressive when you ult as far because if you're just really far away like soldiers just gonna look up at you while you're ulting and shoot at you and you're gonna be so far away that you might not even kill him like it's just sad times again we're doing nothing we could be over at the edge just like poking out this is a little bit more like it but we're going a little bit too far out we're a little bit high up but this is a bit more like it No, no, now we've landed again. No, go back over. You got you got fuel. There you go. That's good. We're focusing soldier. He's most threatening. That doesn't work. <laughs> that does not work. So, instead, right? So, you see all this happening under you, and it looks like you panic a little bit. You should have just... You could have just flown over this way. Hid, like, on the other side of the arch while the ult goes off, and then come back across. And you can, like, concu- and, like, yeah, people are gonna be right, right under you looking at you at that point. You can just kinda, like, toe the line on the arch and, like, duck and weave. Or, you could concussive blast off one of the walls to just propel yourself back over this way once the ult's gone and it's safe for you to fly back over. But instead we do this, and it's just a little bit sad. They don't end up doing any, no, because they're just letting some extra microwave people again. And if I remember correctly, they don't act, they like all die before you even get back. Symmetra's still microwaving people over there. Does she microwave another one? Hello, my cat. Please do move before you fuck up the video. Oh, Symmetra died. Oh, no. Don't need to be on the ground, we should be in the air, there we go. No, no, too close to the ground, danger, danger, danger. We should be way, way up off the sky right now. This diva shouldn't even get to look at us, frankly. 
No, now we're just, we're just like, we're in a confined space, we're playing far, uh, we don't want to be here, we want to be up there in the big blue sky, flying around where people can't touch us. Instead, we're in a closet getting shot by a diva, no, 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 we gotta be up, we gotta be, uh, we gotta, look, we could be doing so many things right now, we got everything, we got all our cooldowns, we got a full tank of gas, we could, like, concussive blast away and fly up, we could jump and concussive blast like any which direction we care to go and we could get up in the sky and just start shooting down at people on the point instead of getting bullied by this diva and then we're going back in again no 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 we gotta go up no no way too close way too close way too close focusing soldier that's good he's more important than the reinhardt in that situation Ulting from real far away again. No, 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 no. You can't be afraid to fly. We've got to be up in the sky shooting down. It's so much easier to play Farah when you're just up in the sky and you get to shoot down at people. Because Farah, like, does a simply ridiculous amount of damage. But if you play on the ground, it's so much harder to use that damage. We gotta think more three-dimensionally. We've got three dimensions to use. We gotta use all of them. Alright, now this is kind of the right idea, because you're gonna go into this little nook and you're gonna shoot out, and frankly you're gonna get away with murder, because you're gonna kill Zenyatta. Shouldn't have worked, really, but they just kinda let this happen. Again, I don't like that you're- this is, like, okay, this is, like, the same basic idea, but again, I would prefer that you're up on the archway, like, just on the roof, poking over and shooting down at people, because you've just got more free range of motion at that point, and you can jump down if people look at you, you can, like, concussive blast away if you really have to, you know, things like that. You also- this really- this stood out to me as well, you basically never use your concussive blast to move yourself around, that's one of the biggest things about Farah. If you watch, like, really good Farah players, like, really top-level Farah players, they fucking bounce around the map all over the place with their concussive blast. Because if you time it with, like, your jump or your jets and... or you just, like, get close to a wall while you're flying off and just bump away, they they get... they're so mobile, it's incredible. You can watch, like, a really high-level Farah player be, like, a mile away from the fight just concussive blast across the map and then be in perfect place to ult. You gotta cut you gotta try and use your concussive blast a little bit more like on yourself, right? To move around, get more mobility. Also this is like a side thing, but I notice now you have it bound to E. I'd recommend binding uh concussive blast to right click. This is a personal thing, I just think that makes way more sense than on the E personally, but that's just preference. Alright, we're up in the open, we don't want that, we don't want that. We kind of just, like, jump forward out, we were like, Yeah, we killed Zenyatta, we're gonna go in and make big plays. No big plays were made because there's a soldier. So we just kind of jumped forward into this, like, open space and got shot. Again, we could just be over here, as I keep harping about. We could be over here on the arch, just poking around. But, like, from that position as well, we could have been using this wall, basically the same way that you would use cover on the ground, just like poke in and out at Soldier, right? And we could like use our concussive blast to jostle him around a little bit, fuck his aim up, or if we're feeling threatened we can concussive blast off the wall and go backwards. But we just jump forward into open sky and have a bad time. We don't really- we don't want to ever really be in open sky, because that's when we're most vulnerable as Farah. People have this misconception about Farah where they're like, Oh, the enemy team has, a has like, a soldier and an Anna. Oh, I have to change. You don't have to change, really, because... So long as you play around the fact that they have a soldier and a far... Like, a soldier and an Anna, rather, then it's perfectly fine. As long as you don't just float around an open sky, then... And you just kind of play around cover, it's much harder for them to actually kill you. I play soldier a lot, and if the Farah is just, like hugging walls and peeking out and, like, using cover in the air, it's actually really hard to kill Farah as soldier if they're playing, like, as long as they're playing around the fact that they have a soldier on the other team, you know? Alright, we're walking back. We could be getting back faster by using our concussive blast as well. We could just be jumping and then, ju like, concussive blasting forward. 
At this point, we don't even really want to be peeking out because this fight's like done. So we just really don't want to die right now while we wait for our team. We're trying to do a little bit of poke, but it doesn't really help because our team isn't here. This is okay. So this is like this is like a side thing, right? People do this thing where they try to poke the enemy team while their team is coming back. This is at best worthless and at worst absolutely counterproductive because if you're poking while your team is coming back, the enemy team is at no risk and therefore the healers are just sitting there healing the people you're poking and they're building ult charge off of that. So... Like, you weren't really doing it, you were kind of doing it, but not really. But this is just kind of like a side thing where DPS are like, Oh, I'm just going to do some poking while I wait for my team to come back. Unless you can kill the person you're poking, you're probably doing more harm than good. Alright, so we're trying to flank now as far. That's fine. We don't have our ult, so it's going to be a little hard to flank really well. And our team even engages, so it was probably a little bit better if we were back with our team, but you can't really have known they were going to do that, at least I don't think so, unless they said something. I wasn't listening. Alright, we're in open sky again. We don't really want to be in open sky, as I keep saying. We could be using a few things for cover. We could go over to this building and use its walls as cover, or we could use the roof of the building we just came away from. That's the most fucked up arrow I ever saw in my life. But we don't want to be here, we're just floating over the point, and now we're just on the point! Disaster! Now we're gonna get swung at by Reinhardt! Oh god, a Reinhardt touched us as far, that's just sad. Alright, Far is in your- oh, that was pretty good, actually. Far just got, like, right up in your face. General, there's, like, a few matchups where it's really not worth trying to fight your counterpart, and it's, like, Far versus Far, or Tracer versus Tracer, it's just not worth it. But I guess if you can get right in the other Farah's face, right? It's not so hard. Alright, so now we could be- we should be up in the sky now, trying to do a little bit more. Uh, yep, this is it, this is it. Oh, 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 we're going a little far forward. Oh, no, 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 we're getting the- this is kind of it. We went a little bit far forward and we didn't use our ma manage our fuel too well. We kind of ran out in the middle of the sky, which is not great, but we got- that was like more of what I want to see. Now, like, you had all your cooldowns full fuel, you could have been up in the air, jump- that was, uh, not the greatest jump i ever seen. You could have just come around the wall or, like, concussive blasted, but I'm sure you know why that one was bad. Alright, so, you have your ult now. It's taken a really long time to charge this ult, but you've got your ult. So, again, I want, we would want, like to be up near the top of the arch right now, so we can just kind of, like, duck over as soon as a fight starts. Just drop down an alt. We're on the ground. We don't want to be on the ground. We want to be up in the sky. Oh, no. We're a little exposed. We're a little exposed, but soldier's dead, so he can't shoot at us, so I guess it's fine. Oh, no. I'd rather... Okay, so you're shooting at... Right, like, you're shooting at people, right? But, see, Reinhardt is so much harder to kill than the Symmetra that's going over this way. So this is, again, target prioritization. Reinhardt's not doing anything right now. We don't need to worry about him at all. So we could just be focusing on the Symmetra, who looks like she's got somebody in her sights. There we go. Now we're, now we're shooting at fit her, and she dies. Anyway, we're hugging the other Farah in the sky. This is very awkward. She died because Soldier was ulting. Oh, no, no, oh, just duck down, just duck down, you're low HP. Soldier doesn't even try to shoot at you anymore, that's fine. Nope, we're mad far away again, we're mad far away. Alright, so let's back up and re-examine that a little bit more closely. Alright, so Soldier's shooting at us from here, right now. So we kind of just want to jump down here, basically, so that we can get out of line. Like, I know we're getting closer to the ground, which I said is bad, but from the position we're in, that's kind of like the best option we have, because we just... Don't want to die to soldier right now. And we know Mercy's here as well to heal you. No, no, we're floating up in the sky a little bit. Alright, we got him. That's fine. Alright, so now we want to ult. We want to ult these people over here. We need to be trying to get over there a little bit faster. So if we back up, right about here. So, you could, you don't need to fly forward to this person, because he's not moving anywhere, and you kind of fly forward. Instead, we could have stayed on that rooftop. I've pushed many buttons by accident right there. So if we stay closer to the rooftop, right, we see Soldier coming out over here. If we were closer to the rooftop over here, we could use our Concussive Blast to like propel ourselves over towards the building a little bit more, and we could just peek the corner, 
and alt them, point blank, and they'll die pretty much instantly. But instead, we kind of do this, it's a little awkward, we're like, oh, we should ult, but then, oh, god, no, Symmetra sends the shield at us, and that's just really unfortunate. Oh, now we're getting ulted by, like, eight different people, oh, god, oh, no, Sorry, we had, like, battle. very few ways to go. Alright, Reinhardt swinging, he's trying to be a hero, we're trying to get back. And again, we could just be using our, there we go, there you go, now you're using the Concussive Blast. This is fine, because they're fighting on the point. Now it doesn't matter that we're just kind of flying straight at it, because they're not going to be concerned about us right now. Uh, can't really see anyone better to be shooting at, so this is pretty much the best we could be doing by the look of it. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, kind of forgot Reinhardt was there. Because, uh, when we were up in the sky, we did see Reinhardt go off in this direction. And, uh, kind of just let this happen. We could also just still be in the sky, because we have shift, we have a fuel, full fuel tank, we could just still be in the sky. We didn't need to be standing on the point, we could have been, like, uh, over towards the arch over here, looking out at people trying to get back to the point. If we, like, didn't know it, Reinhardt was still there. But we win anyway, game was pretty easy, regardless. So... Is is the play of the game here? Because this short, this play, this replay looks a little bit. No, no, it's not going to be there, is it? Oh no! Oh god! Oh, we aren't even going to see the end screen. Oh no! How sad! All right, so let's go away from that. So, if I were to give you one piece of advice, like one thing to work on, it would be. You need to be in the sky more often, because that's the entire thing about Farah. What's the thing, going back to like the thing I talk about, like what's the thing that's overpowered about this character? The thing that's overpowered about Farah is that she does an absolute ton of damage, and she has access to a pl uh, like the third dimension, which very few other heroes have like any real access to. So you need to be trying to play the air game a little bit more, and but you need to be thinking a little bit more carefully about where you're floating. Don't just float out in the open, kind of like we're doing right now. Didn't plan that, but we're kind of out in the open right now. Try to stay... Like, you need to think about safety in another way than most heroes do, because you need to be thinking about how you can be in the air, shooting down at people, but still covered. And you need to try and manage your fuel just a little bit more carefully, because you can stay in the air forever, as far as now, if you just, like, feather the throttle and, like ride, like, ride slants and things like that. So, that's the thing that really stands out to me. Target prioritization a little bit, as well, because, you know, we want to be killing DPS and supports before we want to be killing tanks, ideally. But, that's about it for that one. Pretty short game, pretty simple, straightforward.